Hi, I'm Aaron Bussey, MD. You're watching this video, so there's a good chance that you've been referred to see an endocrinologist like me. There's an equally good chance that you're asking yourself just what the heck is an endocrinologist. That is a very common reaction in this setting. I've been in practice for more than 15 years, and I realized long ago that the majority of people have never even heard of an endocrinologist. Those who have typically don't have any idea what it is that we do for a living. Knowing that coming to see a new doctor is always an intimidating experience, even if you do understand their kind of medicine, I decided it would be helpful to create a video to give some sort of idea of just what an endocrinologist does, what we might have to offer as far as your health care goes. Endocrinology is the branch of medicine concerned with diseases and abnormalities of glands, hormones, and metabolism. An endocrinologist is always a physician, most commonly a medical doctor or MD like me, sometimes, however, a DO or an osteopathic doctor, who after their initial four years of training then went on to do three or more years in internal medicine training, and then two or more years of subspecialty training in endocrinology. And it's in those two years that we develop our real key skills and knowledge base to be able to diagnose and treat endocrine conditions. Sometimes endocrine problems can be quite simple and fairly obvious in their presentation, something that a primary care doctor can manage easily without having to make a referral onto a subspecialist. But occasionally, endocrine problems are extremely complex. Sometimes they show up in very subtle fashions, and it really requires investigation to be able to make a determination about what exactly is going on. Hormonal conditions can affect the body in lots of different ways, from head to toe. So endocrinologists are very good at doing physical exam. We have to be able to look at everything from the hair to the toenails. I don't look at toenails. Yes, I do. I look at toenails for diabetes. Um, we have to look at everything from hair to toenails to be able to make a endocrine diagnosis sometimes. More often than not, endocrine diseases boil down to looking at lab tests. These hormones exist in the body in minuscule amounts, tiny little amounts that have to be measured in labs. That's not something we can look at, touch, taste, or feel. Uh, so a hormonal lab is a really intrinsic part of the endocrinology experience and what goes on when you come to see an endocrinologist. The list of conditions endocrinologists treat is long, certainly longer than I can go over in any one video. One way of thinking about them, however, is as regards hormones, they're either normal, somebody might be overproducing certain hormones or underproducing certain hormones. And then as far as glandular disorders go, commonly it has to do with the size, shape, and whether or not there are tumors in a gland. So there are lots of benign endocrine tumors, there are a few cancerous endocrine tumors, and a lot of the times an endocrinologist is trying to figure out which one of those things it has. As you're getting ready to go see an endocrinologist, keep in mind, just like no two patients are exactly the same, no two endocrinologists are exactly the same. I can't tell you just how your endocrine visit's gonna go with somebody else, but in general, most are probably similar to if somebody comes to see me. First time we sit down, I'm gonna ask questions about what brings the patient in. What are their signs and symptoms? How long have those things been going on? There's always going to be some sort of physical exam. As I talked about earlier, it might be fairly straightforward. It might be extremely detailed. If you happen to be coming in for, an in for a thyroid problem, there might be a thyroid ultrasound done as part of the visit. There's going to be lab drawn. Most endocrine practices can't do labs at the time of the visit, but many can. Uh, so you might have new lab results to go over before you actually leave. Almost always at the end, there's going to be some sort of wrap-up, some sort of summary, either talking about the doctor's impression based on that first visit or talking about the strategy going forward, how to figure out exactly what's going on with you. So those are the details that you might go through at a first visit. So that's my very brief explanation of what an endocrinologist is and what an endocrinologist does. Hopefully, if you are going to see an endocrinologist soon, this gives you some usable knowledge of what to expect. Hopefully, it gives you a little bit of comfort and clarity about what might go on at that first visit. We're never going to throw you down on an operating table and cut you open. That's not what we do.